Now, I'm sure everybody by now have seen or heard or watched or seen a parody of The Breakfast Club, the John Hughes movie that takes place in Chicago and that has a bunch of misfit teenagers stuck in the library for a Saturday detention. Yeah, that sort of happened to me once. Not really at all. This is nothing like The Breakfast Club. How's it going, everybody? My name is Han Solo Brigerty 2. I'm about to tell you my most embarrassing story because you know what? F it, why not? YouTubers already have me embarrassed enough. So you know what? Let's just add it on to the list. I have a paper here that says disciplinary referral and report form. Not gonna say what school because obviously for purposes I don't want anybody hackling the school or whatever. Anyways, April 5th, 2012. Not gonna say anything else besides that for now. But this happened in high school. I was a good noodle, but I hated high school. Let's just get it out of the way. I never really liked high school. Met a couple cool people and everything, but high school wasn't for me. I thankfully graduated, like everybody should, stay in school, you know? Senior year, 2012, couple months before graduation. Realizing it now, they could have stopped me from graduating this year. <laughs> they could have stopped me. This little incident could have stopped me from graduating my cap and gown on stage looking out proud. But thankfully, it was just a Saturday detention because my record is clean. I barely do stuff. I'm a good noodle. I was with my friend who will refer to as Wayne. Now, the thing is, me and Wayne were in a band, and I'm not gonna say what he played or what he did, but we're friends. He played a lot of instruments. He happened to play the guitar as well. And no, he didn't just play the guitar. He played other instruments, which I'm not gonna say anything else. So anyways, me and Wayne, we're just getting out of lunch. We snuck out probably like a minute or two early just because we like to just get a head start between the passing periods from going to one class, going to the other. Because here in America, that's how we do it. We go to one classroom in this big building. We gotta find our way. We gotta go to our locker. We gotta use our time wisely to get from point A to point B to point C throughout the whole day in high school. Me and Wayne were walking from lunch. I was going to gym. I don't know where the hell he was going. He had his acoustic guitar. He decides to start playing a couple songs, you know? I start singing it, whatever. You know, we're just having a good time. I'm going to, I'm going to gym, he's going to wherever the hell he's going. We're up on the second floor. We pass by around this corner. This dude starts playing this one Blink-182 song, which I will not, I will not, not, I can't say the name. I can't post a clip of it. Copyright issues, but I'll post the name of it right here. Go check it out. Go listen to it and you'll see why a teacher <laughs> That was nearby that was next to a nearby classroom overheard what I was singing and then proceeded to just come out angrily Look at me and say give me give me your IDs to me and Wayne and In the first reaction of being a good noodle Here take my ID. Oh f That was my first reaction. We went into her classroom. I have no idea who this teacher is She heard me singing the words which I will get to right now, written this referral up, sent me to the dean's office, I went to my dean, my dean looked at me disapproval, was like, you can't be singing this. I'm like, I know I can't be singing this in the hallway. He's like, all right, you can either serve detention right now, or you could serve it out uh, on Saturday. I'm like, I'll just take the Saturday. It's like a half hour or an hour, I just have to be there. I could do whatever the hell I want. What in the hell did I sing that got me so in trouble that could possibly now realizing it possibly have gotten me removed from graduation, which I'm happy it didn't because, bro, graduating is everything in high school. That's one goal you have is just to graduate, get your diploma, get your GED, get whatever. That's the only thing because you require it for life. If I can't stress that enough, it's a funny memory. I'm going to get this frame someday. I'll post it up, a picture of it. I'm going to blur it out because I don't want to post it on camera, so I'll blur out everything but it literally says singing loudly <laughs> in the hallway the lyrics I want to f your mom in the ass I I said that I really said that the teacher was just pissed told me why I was singing that why were we singing that in the hallway and jeez, we just said it was a song. I get it's inappropriate, but dude, we're high schoolers. What could you f 
freaking do about it, okay? Maybe somebody will find it offensive, but come on. Not really, man. It's a stupid joke song. You know, it's a funny thing too. I actually got to play that song for my final, uh, for my final for a guitar class. Even though I didn't sing the lyrics, I just played the, the my guitar teacher's like, just learn a song, play the first couple seconds of it without you know messing up, and that's it. I chose that song. He just he just knew it was a song, and I just played it, and that's it. You know, I passed. So then Saturday comes. Like I said, I was a good noodle. I never really did go to detention as much a handful of times but not as much to be like having the teacher know me and everything but I went to Saturday detention in uniform and everybody around me <laughs> was not in uniform for Saturday detention nobody freaking told me that you don't have to wear uniform for Saturday detention because it's not mandatory and it's the weekend and All you just really need is your ID and your homework or just something to keep yourself busy. The, the Breakfast Club lied when they said that Saturday detention was gonna be like that. No, it's literally just you and 20 other students with one security guard or like three or four of them. You just sit down, you check in, you leave when you're supposed to and they tell you, they check every hour. They're like, okay, one hour this person, two hours this person. It was nothing like the Breakfast Club. This freaking referral. I should have just taken that Saturday, uh, that detention the same day after. I could have missed gym. I could have missed gym for it, but no, I had to go on the Saturday, wake up early just for one hour, just for the stupid lyric. Freaking Wayne, he told me afterwards, oh, I just served the detention right when I got it. I went to my dean and he just like, okay, uh, go serve your, your detention time right now. Why didn't I think of that? So I was just basically alone on Saturday in detention doing nothing because geez Louise, I, I, I sung Blink-182 lyrics and I got caught and it was stupid, it was just a joke, it was just a prank bro. Moral of the story, <laughs> be careful what you say out in public, what you sing, because you never know who the hell's gonna get offended. And you know what? I get it, you know? Some people may get offended by this, some people may not, but you know. Still though, come on, at the time we were just teenagers and the thing is, I'm not saying let boys be boys, I get it. But the thing is like, just give me a freaking half an hour detention. I got a whole hour, I got a whole hour from this, just give me half an hour, this isn't fair. Like I said, what, whatever, what can we do? But literally, I got freaking caught singing the lyrics. Look, I'll show you right now. Let me just hide everything. I just went over this because this is over pencil. This is one of those where like they have two sheets of paper and then this one is the one that goes behind it. So literally it says right here. Look, if you could see, <laughs> I hope it sees it, but look at this. It really did happen. And this is literally a real thing that happened to me and I have proof of it. And the thing is now that I'm realizing while recording this video is they could have freaking excluded me from graduation, but I'm glad they didn't because I definitely earned my diploma while going to high school because high school was just bad. But it's okay. We live and let learn. But that was my embarrassing Saturday detention story. I never really told anybody that. Only a hand people uh, know that. But it really did happen to me. I really did get busted. <laughs> Um, jeez, man, just be careful around people when singing or saying a joke or something. You never know who you're gonna offend. Last and first only time I ever have a Saturday detention. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you guys want me to do more videos like this, let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe and the bell right here so let you guys know whenever I upload any new videos and such. Thank you guys for all the love and support. I'm glad to be back on YouTube. This has been fun to do. Um, I just upload every Monday and Friday, 5 a.m. Central Time. Catch me on Twitch, catch me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, follow me right here. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. This is yours truly, Hansel Brigger82, signing off. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.